Welcome back to White Pines Barbecue. So, last couple months I turned 40. Wanted to get myself something nice. And I needed to cook the tropical lamb that would uh, heat up and cool down quickly. And smoke and grill. So, this is what I landed on. And uh, yeah, we'll see what it looks like when I get it put together. So here it is, uh, fully assembled with the lid open, obviously. Bottom tray in. Um, a few observations. I thought it had the plastic tray like the uh, table, like the 360 does, but it's just in metal, which I'm very pleased about. Um, same tray on the bottom, that same kind of metal. Um, this is kind of interesting. Uh, 360 just has the open ends, which um, I have some hand troubles, and it's uh, tricky getting the thing on. But this has this ring all the way around, which means it's super easy to put the charcoal grate on and off. I don't know they have that open, nice big gap. Uh, this grate is a uh, charcoal grate. It's much more heavy duty than I thought it'd be. Um, it's not stainless. They sell you the stainless upgrade, but there's no reason this shouldn't last quite a while, especially given how much I'm going to be using this thing. Um, so the lid's a lot heavier than I thought it'd be. And uh, pro tip here on the handle, if you're putting this together, it says to put the capsule on and then put the handle on. Uh, don't do that. Put the handle on and then put the top on. Trust me, I make your life much easier. And then around the back here, pop the out, pop the plug out with a couple taps from a hammer. Put the thermometer in. Um, the classic top of the PK. Um, so yeah, not many more observations here. I mean, there's lots of reviews of these, but. Compared to the 360, I really like how thick this edge is for um, just creating a nice air seal. And you close the lid and it kind of nestles into these little holes on here so you can make sure you get it closed right every time. So all in all, I'm pretty impressed. I'll uh, be cooking on in a few days and that'll be the next thing you see, or the burning at least. So yeah, pretty nice growth so far. So this is something that's uh, way more interesting than I thought it would be. Uh, this is the PK300 cooking grate sitting on top of the PK360. And uh, as you can tell, uh, there's not much in it. Not near as much as I thought there'd be. And uh, yeah, that's just really interesting because the 360 is quite a bit more. It does come with some more premium features, but uh, yeah, for the price difference, that is not a big difference in cooking space so um yeah because it'd just be uh never easier to do that comparison than now because this is going up to the land i mean the, the pk300 is i thought i'd do the shot now so yeah that is very interesting all right the time has come time to get this thing messy gonna throw a fire in let it run wide open for about 20 minutes and then i uh, cook some brats so here we go so I poured a chimney in, ran it to about 400 degrees, dialed it back the temps and did some brats. And then I shut down everything. And in 20 minutes, we're down to that. So this is perfect. It's gonna control heat super well. I'm excited to do more cooks besides the brats, but uh, first impressions, great go, great grill. Thanks for watching.